Hello everyone! I'm Teacher Renette and today we are going to read a book about... Ta-da! Complaining! Okay, so what can you see in the book? I think I can see a girl shouting and a girl covering their eyes. Covering her eyes. Okay, let's find out what is happening. Okay, so this story was written by Joy Berry. is about Amy and her friend Tammy. Reading about Amy and Tammy can help you understand and deal with complaining. Um, Tammy said, I'm glad you're spending the night. But then Amy said, Your bedroom is awfully small. I don't like it. Your friends' toys are gonna say not nice things. Like, for example, you you do not like the color of your friend's toy. Are you gonna tell her that I don't like the color of your of your toy? It's ugly. Are you gonna say that? No, because they will be sad. Okay, let's find out what happened next. You better say nice things to your friends, right? And to your parents, to your lolas, to your sisters, your brother, right? Okay. You are complaining when you are not pleased with something and say so. Complaining is saying that something is wrong. It is finding fault with something. Amy said, Oh, I hate this food. Is this all there is to eat? So, so um, Amy spent the night at Tammy's house, but then um, Tammy prepared a food for Amy, and then Amy didn't like the food. So, and then look at what is Amy doing? She keeps on complaining and complaining. When you are with someone who keeps complaining, how do you feel? What do you think? And what do you do? Amy said again, Are these all the toys you have? I'm not having much fun here. Tammy, you know. She said that to Tammy. What will Tammy feel? What do you think? Tammy will feel sad. She sure complains a lot, said Tammy. When you are with someone who complains, you might feel unhappy and disappointed. You might think it is not fun to spend time with the person. You might decide you do not want to be around that person. I am sure glad Tammy is gone. I'll never invite her to my house again. See? If you keep on complaining and complaining to your friends, your friends will not invite you or your friends won't um, play with you. Because you are saying a lot of not nice things. What do we need to do? We need to say nice things so that our friend will feel happy and welcome um, whenever they are with us, right? Okay. It is important to treat others the way you want to be treated. If you do not want the people you are with to complain, you must not complain. So Tammy's mom said, Why don't you invite Amy over to play? Amy, co Amy complained so much. It's not fun to be around her, said Tammy. Oh no, that's sad. Too much complaining can make you feel bad. It can cause you to think about the bad things around you instead of the good things. There's nothing to do around this house. There's nothing on TV. We don't have any good games and I don't know what to do, said Amy. Look, she's so into complaining. 
Why is she like that? Oh no. Don't be like Amy, okay? Thinking about the bad things around you can put you in a bad mood. Look, why are you in such a bad mood? Said his daddy. Want to play cat and mouse? Said the cat. To make the boy feel better. Right? When you are in a bad mood, you will probably have a bad day. You might say or do things that hurt you or the people and things around you. Living here is boring. I wish I lived someone else, somewhere else, said the said Amy. Oh no. Complaining can be harmful to you and others. This does not mean you should keep quiet. When something is really wrong, sometimes you might need to complain. Stop! You have no right to break my toys, said Tammy to his brother, maybe. Okay, so what is he, what is his her brother doing? Her brother is not taking care of her toy. That's why she complained. You can complain if you're in a right um, position, right? Right. Just like this. That's her toy and um, her, her brother is not using it properly. That's why she said, Stop! You, n you have no right to break my toy. When you need to complain, do it in a nice way. Try not to shout. Try not to throw a tantrum. <clears throat> TJ got into my things again. Look what he did. She said it properly to her daddy. When you must complain, try to suggest ways to solve the problem. Could we put a lock on my bedroom door? So TJ can't get into my room? Once you are sure your complaint is understood, stop complaining. Listen to what others have to say. If they suggest a good solution to the problem, follow it. Look at this um, picture and this situation. Can I borrow your listening ears? We're almost done. Okay, thank you. I don't think a lock is necessary, said her daddy. If you make sure your things are put away in your room, I'll make sure TJ doesn't go into it. Tammy said, okay. So, um, Tammy suggested that uh, her, dad, her daddy must put a lock on his uh, I mean, on her bedroom, so that TJ won't go get inside her bedroom. But then, her daddy said, Tammy, you know what? Um, you must pack away properly your toy so that TJ won't reach it, so that TJ won't get all your toys. Okay? How about you? Are you packing away properly after you use your toys or your things? Okay, good. Remember to think about the good things around you. Talk about them. Do not complain unless you need to. Look at this. Tammy and DJ. So, Tammy said, Sometimes you bug me, but most of the time you're a pretty neat kid. <laughs> They're friends already again. It is important to treat people the way you want to be treated. If you do not want others to complain around you, you must not complain around them. Look at that. Good, mo good move, Tammy. So, they are now good. <laughs> and we'll close up.
of the book B and so this is our story for today. Did you have fun listening to our story? What did you learn about complaining? When you want to complain, make sure that you are in the right position and then when you uh, when your parents or someone understood your complaint, you must uh, give them a way or a solution, right? Just like what Tammy did. Tammy suggested to put lock on her door, right? But then her, dad, her daddy said, just pack away your things properly. Maybe your mommy or your daddy or someone else who who will you complain to can also have a suggestion for you, right? Okay, so that's all for today. I hope you learned something new. And I hope that you value the lessons that we are talking about, okay? Bye! Thanks for today, kids!